It's like if you go to the playground and you come home clean, it's like, what the hell did you even do there? To the playground when you're a kid, of course. That sounded so wrong. They say you are what you eat, so I'm a rib? Mukbang episode ribs! I love pork ribs. They're probably one of my favorite foods ever because everything that's related to food is my favorite. So we have a whole rack, a full rack, as they call it. It's a whole rack of ribs. The whole shablama. Hashtag saucy, hashtag ribs, hashtag prison break, hashtag sauce boss, hashtag an apple a day keeps windows away. We're gonna have to slice up these ribs. And what better tool to slice up these ribs than our beautiful Shun Premier knife. Zack. Who needs guns to protect themselves? If some robber comes at me with a, with a gun, I'll just cut the bullets in half with this thing. It's a full rack of ribs. It's heavy. It's really heavy. And I just put some parchment paper on my board just not to stain it as much. Okay. Now you want to put these ribs into individual pieces of rib, okay? Okay, so just take your ribs and carefully in between every single bone you want to make sure that you make a precise cut like a surgeon like a surgeon slicing ribs for the very first time and you got these individual pieces of ribs okay, delish the last rib piece is the money maker. It has all the deliciousness, ness, So I'm just gonna go ahead and dig into it. Hmm. Ribs are a pretty messy thing to handle, but somehow the mess makes it fun. It's like if you go to the playground and you come home clean, it's like, what the hell did you even do there? To the playground when you're a kid, of course. That sounded so wrong. Clear off all the meat from the bone, otherwise the pig died for nothing. What a tremendous waste. And as a custom to this show, we're not gonna match any wines and pretend we're some fancy cork sniffers. We are gonna f match all our food with sodas. And I have an incredibly special soda today. It's Uludak Gasos, a Turkish beverage similar to Sprite, just much tastier, a little more artificial, but I love it. Cheers. Okay. If you think about it, these ribs are really heavy, but most of it is bone. I'm, just, I'm looking at all this grease from all the pork ribs. I think everyone else would have a heart attack, but I think it's kind of sexy. It's like I'm lubing up the inside of my body. You know when you put on oil or cream outside of your body and you become nice and shiny and you know good looking? I'm becoming good looking from the inside. There's something so attractive about having a pork rib. It's like a meat lollipop. Yeah. I wish I would have gotten to school and I would have gotten something like this instead of one of those sweet lollipops. I always preferred savory foods over sweet. Meat candy. For sure. It's like all the fat from the meat re-emulsifies back into the flesh. Makes it so juicy. You can't make stuff like this for people like me. You know, this is the equivalent to drugs. I'll just get fatter and fatter all the time just because of stuff like this. And my brain will think it's like, oh, it's just nutrition. It's amazing. This is like drugs. Drugs, but consciously not really bad for you, but in the end, you will end up in the hospital with cardiac arrest because there was only pork fat running through your veins. People die because of this. People die more because of overeating and obesity than people actually get shot. Let that sink in for a second.
Pork really is the forbidden meat. It's like forbidden in the Jewish religion and Islam. Some say even in Christianity. Pork is really toxic to your body. Apparently. But YOLO. You know on YouTube, all those keyboard warriors? Every one of them is a professional Michelin starred chef. They all know how to cook better than you. Trust me, after having a cooking channel for over a year, everyone on the internet is a better chef than you. They probably got three stars. They probably have 17 restaurants in New York. They all know their shit better than you. They have the power of Google and a loud keyboard warrior mouth. It's like how everyone behind their keyboard gets 50% stronger or 200% stronger when they write down on under YouTube videos of Mike Tyson Oh, he should have done that and so he should have done this and he's actually such a bitch But then if you meet him in real life, it's like, oh, oh Mr. Tyson, you're, <laughs> you're much bigger in person I was just passing by, I didn't really mean that on the internet, you know, it's just like I barely speak English, you know, not speak English, Mr. Tyson, leave me alone, please Two more succulent pieces of rib and then it's off to the pub. The last piece of the rib is always the largest because it's got some belly attached to it. This is the last piece of pork rib and I am commemorating this last piece of pork rib to all the internet warriors who are faster than Usain Bolt, stronger than Mike Tyson, better at tennis than Novak Djokovic, and a better politician than Barack Obama. Homage. You've made a mess out of yourself now. Your date has already left. But it's all good. We're happy. You're full. A little bloated. Yet happy. That's what food does to you. It makes you happy. But it also cancels out every other plan that you had today. Not everyone can do this, I tell ya. Only fatsos, like myself, can do it. Anyway, thanks for watching this weird show where people watch me eat. Apparently people actually watch this. I'm doing it for you guys, you know? I have to eat anyway. But thank you for watching today's episode of Mukbang. If you want to go ahead, Subscribe really mean a lot to me. If you want to see yesterday's episode, which was the crispy pork knuckle where I traveled to Munich to eat a pork knuckle, over here, press there. And the spaghetti bolognese episode down on here. Thanks for watching this episode and I hope you guys will eat some ribs, make them for your dad. You know, you probably haven't called him in a while. Take care. Whoa, that was a that was a lot of food.